Okay, so in the following example, we're going to look at how to create a stylized look using Substance Painter. Obviously, the thing with Substance Painter is usually you are not trying to do this type of thing. Um, you are trying to create something which is uh, more realistic using smart materials. Um, so I've just done a bit of an exploration into kind of looking at some of techniques you'd use in a stylized workflow and to create something which is sort of mimics that and um, but uses it's got minimal amount of painting in mainly uses masks uh, curvature maps and things like that to get the same the same effect you can see it's got some kind of like um, texture to it and um, it's got different material types they actually behave as they're supposed to it's you you can use it with a PBR workflow obviously a lot of this stuff's baked in if you look at the if I just look at the albedo um, go to the albedo there we go you can see that you know it has it has a gradient running through it it has it has lighting baked into it so um, but it does have a metalness map and roughness and things like that so you can you know we can drop new environments in here and it, it does work with them obviously in a very stylized way so yeah so let's have a look at that the, the techniques in here are, are basically uh, there's a lot of repetition so I may chop and change some bits as I go through. I'm just basically going to look at this file and then try and recreate some of those elements. Um, at least that's the plan. So let's get started. So let's just give you a quick breakdown of what we've got here. Then I've got things in folders. This isn't a tutorial on how to use Substance. Um, there's plenty of good stuff out there. Uh, so I'll, uh, we'll be avoiding that part. Um, so I'm assuming that from the last video what we've done is we've, we've brought this in we've kind of got this switch everything off this is what we had um, baked all maps baked full set um, it's a reasonable came through as a reasonable bake it's got issues um, which I'm not going to fix because this is just to demo it, but obviously you make sure yours is tickety-boo before you start. Um, anyway, so we've got that. So what I've got here is I've got um, my metal in a group. So it's in a folder here. Let's get this out of the way. I don't need to look at that, really. Um, so within this folder, so this this is being masked using a color selection. So this is basically using my ID map. So if I delete that, then and delete this, uh, remove mask. Then obviously, if the whole thing was metal, it would look like this. Um, so all I've got is basically a black mask to mask out the whole thing. And then what I need to do is build from within here what I want the mask to do. So if I right click on the black mask and I go to add mask with color selection, then I get this little dubery here. And in the properties for it, there is a pick color. So I can pick that and I get my map. Now I'm at this stage, I'm working at, I've got the full Oh, I'm not actually in 2048. What you'll find at lower resolutions is you'll get this kind of weird, you know, this stuff happening. Um, so if you're going to use color selection as a way of selecting rather than using, uh, rather than selecting polys, then you're, this is something to watch for because you're going to get this if, if you work at, you know, lower resolutions. 
my advice is probably to not worry about it too much until maybe near the end and then um, make sure or test it at full, at full res and what you'll probably find at full resolution you won't have that issue um, it's just as it is it down samples it, it seems to struggle um, but if you are having that problem you may have to go around and kind of paint out a few bits and maybe put your send your maps out at full resolution at the end so like this, in this case that would be 4k which will take an age for this to load in 4k probably um, but you maybe output your maps as at, at the highest resolution you can at, right at the end and then in something like Photoshop um, reduce them down to what you need them to be um, because that way you won't really lose that um, because there won't be masks anymore um, it's the masking it's basically the downsampling the resolution in the ID mask is the problem if you just sample uh, polygons you're not going to have that issue at all really but obviously you don't have you know you don't have the subtlety across the surface that you do where you're just selecting polys and I'll show you that very quickly as well I'll just wait for this to complete okay so that's just completed and you can see that transitions a lot better um, than it was before so it's probably a good idea that if you're using this system of using the ID masks then um, you probably want to output at a higher resolution than you need and then go back in and fix those things um, in Photoshop afterwards anyway um, if I delete that uh, let me just drop this back to 2048 because literally this machine's like it needs coal thrown in the back of it it's so old um, so it's really struggling with painter um, so if I delete that so that obviously that's this is affecting the whole this is the folder so everything within that folder is essentially you know attached to this folder so we're putting the mask over the folder so everything's um, masked out at the minute the other way you can do masking or the main way to do masking is is basically um, to if you go on your if you select your black mask if you go to uh, this one this tool here polygon fill and what you can do is you can actually select uh, so in this one you can actually select individual polygons And obviously you get quite a sharp transition then. Um, if you select one that you don't want, then you basically just move this to that. And then back to white again. So essentially you're painting the white back in, so you're painting the mask back in. Um, or you can select, uh, I've triangulated this whole mesh, so that's probably not that useful. Um, I can fill the mesh. Uh, so that basically is anything that's got a contiguous edge so it's not these are separate so it's not selected these but it's picked up everything else or if I undo that we can go into hit F1 to get my UV view up and I go into UVs and I can select it by UV only which that's the floor so there you go or you know one half of the ring selected so yeah um, they're really handy anyway but that's not the way I did it for this one so uh, I'm going to come off that into paint mode uh, I'm just going to uh, I'm going to do I'm going to clear that mask so it's back to how it was and I'm just going to add my color selection again do a pick and I'm going to pick gray and now we're back to where we were okay so that's kind of masks for a folder so anything if you just want to put it onto an ob, onto a, a layer that's you can do the same thing but this is all these things belong to metal so I've basically just got this folder um, created called metal want to create a folder 
Um, so we'll say I want to do the same thing. All I've got to do is go up here and go add a folder. So we can call this you know, metal two. And now I have a folder called metal two. And I can, as I put things into it, then I can set this stuff up. So that's the first part.